Sky Warriors. The nation's umbrella from enemies. In the world of aviation, one aircraft stands out from the rest, pushing the boundaries of technology and redefining what's possible in the skies. Today, we delve into the awe-inspiring world of the F-35, the pinnacle of fighter jet engineering. The F-35, also known as the Lightning II, is a fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft, designed to dominate the air, land, and sea. Developed by a collaboration of nations, it combines cutting-edge technology, stealth capabilities, and unmatched performance to deliver an unparalleled advantage on the battlefield. Step inside the cockpit, and you'll find a state-of-the-art interface that puts the pilot in complete control. With its advanced avionics and integrated systems, the F-35 provides unmatched situational awareness, allowing the pilot to make split-second decisions and execute complex missions with precision. When it comes to air superiority, the F-35 is unrivaled. Its advanced stealth capabilities make it virtually invisible to enemy radar, giving it a decisive edge in any engagement. Whether it's dogfighting or long-range strikes, the F-35's unmatched agility and firepower ensure it always comes out on top. Not only does the F-35 excel in the skies, but it also dominates the seas. Its ability to operate from aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships makes it a versatile asset for naval operations. With its vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, the F-35 can access remote locations and provide support where others cannot. Behind the F-35's incredible capabilities are the dedicated men and women who maintain and operate this marvel of engineering. Their expertise and relentless commitment ensure that the F-35 remains at the forefront of military technology, protecting our nations and securing our skies. The F-35 represents the future of aerial warfare, combining unmatched technology, stealth, and versatility. It is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of excellence. As we look to the horizon, the F-35 continues to push the boundaries, shaping the future of aviation and defending our freedom. This aircraft is equipped with a powerful jet engine that allows it to reach supersonic speeds. Its light structure in composite materials gives it great stealth, making it difficult to detect by enemy radars. Additionally, the F-35 is equipped with advanced artificial intelligence and communication systems, allowing it to seamlessly interact with other aircraft and ground forces. It is truly at the cutting edge of aeronautical technology. This aircraft is capable of performing ground attack, air superiority, and reconnaissance missions. Thanks to its stealth and advanced weapon system, it can penetrate enemy defenses and destroy strategic targets with precision. Additionally, the F-35 can operate from aircraft carriers, land bases, and even remote areas with its vertical takeoff and landing capability. Three decades after the Cold War, the United States has withdrawn almost all of its tactical nuclear weapons from Europe. Only a small number of B-61 gravity bombs, designed to be employed against enemy targets using so-called dual-capable aircraft operated by European NATO members, remain on a handful of Allied air bases across the continent. According to recent estimates, about 100 bombs are deployed in Italy, Germany, Turkey, Belgium, and the Netherlands. The F-35A Lightning II, which is set to replace current legacy fighters in almost all NATO states that take part in nuclear sharing, is a significantly more capable aircraft than the legacy fighters it is replacing. Together with the modernized B-61-12 nuclear bomb, 
it will reconstitute NATO's regional deterrence capabilities and help to deter further Russian aggression. Furthermore, the procurement of the F-35A by a large number of NATO members, and by Germany in particular, will alleviate doubts about the political credibility of the nuclear sharing commitment. The Changing Technological Nature of Nuclear Sharing NATO's nuclear sharing arrangement may not be credible today, but it likely will be in the near future. With the F-35A scheduled to replace the remaining fourth-generation dual-capable aircraft within the Alliance and the B-61-12 set to arrive in European storage facilities this year, the strategic outlook today is vastly different than a couple of decades ago. Even though the F 35A has yet to perform a number of crucial tests to go into full rate production, is plagued by availability issues due to a lack of spare parts and functional engines, and still has over 800 open deficiencies, it is already a very capable fighter. Thanks to its stealth capabilities, electronic warfare suite, and advanced sensors, which provide the pilots with situational awareness unmatched by any fourth-generation platform, the F-35A will give nuclear-sharing participants unprecedented ability to penetrate highly defended Russian airspace. Several countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom and Israel, have already integrated the F-35 into their armed forces. Its versatility and exceptional performance make it a strategic choice for modern military operations. Moreover, its cutting-edge technology has helped strengthen international alliances and ensure collective security. The F-35 is truly a revolutionary aircraft that has redefined the standards of combat aviation. The Pentagon's multi-role aircraft project is not only controversial domestically in the United States, but also in a number of partner countries, whose governments have been accused by their oppositions of taking the decision to embark on an investment and purchase program based on incomplete data. This is particularly the case of Canada, whose executive is also accused of having knowingly concealed the real costs for the country. Stephen Harper's Conservative Party of Canada is at the root of this controversy. In April 2014, Canadian funds for the F-35 were frozen, and the possibility of using a competing program was no longer ruled out. On July 7, 2006, the U.S. Air Force officially named the F-35 Lightning II, in honor of the American World War II aircraft Lockheed P-38 Lightning, but also of the British Jet Interceptor English Electric Lightning. Other proposed names were Kestrel, which refers to the origins of the Harrier, Phoenix, Piasaw, Black Mamba, and Spitfire II, which refers to the Supermarine Spitfire. No less than 21 pre-production units were built, seven of each version, in order to carry out the testing and validation process before the first deliveries in 2010 to 2011. Designated AA-1 the first pre-series F-35 made its maiden flight on December 15, 2006. It was still a prototype, which was not entirely representative of the final aircraft. Of the 21 pre-series aircraft, 14 are used for flight testing and 7 for various static tests to measure structural strength, aging, etc. After being halted for 7 months due to a power supply problem, Flight tests resumed on December 7, 200721. Discussions on aircraft numbers are still ongoing, but initial estimates of nearly 3,000 F-35s for the US and UK alone have been revised down. Officially, this number was reduced to just over 2,500 examples in 2006 but it seems that the USAF is considering reducing its order again by 500 units, which would bring the total down to around 2,000 F-35s. The F-35B is a style short takeoff slash vertical landing variant. This version has a Rolls-Royce lift system type fan integrated vertically into the fuselage at the rear of the cockpit, used only for takeoff or landing 
as well as a main nozzle that can be directed downwards. The fan is connected to the low pressure turbine of the main reactor. The internal fuel capacity is reduced to 6.35 tons, minus 24.22% compared to the F-35A version. This variant of the F-35 is the one that will be delivered to the U.S. Marine Corps, and whose purchase is considered by the Marina military. The British Royal Air Force and Fleet Air Arm, which had committed to the F-35B to replace the various versions of the AV-8B Harrier II currently in service, turned to the F-35C at the end of 2010, shortly after the general election, which sees the Conservatives take over from Labour. However, in May 2012, Philip Hammond, the British Minister of Defence, finally chose the F-35 35B to equip the future aircraft carrier Queen Elizabeth, despite the choice announced in 2010 which consisted in preferring the F-35C in agreement the principle of Franco-British and American interoperability. The F-35A is a versatile aircraft optimized for ground attack. It will initially integrate the USAF, to replace the F-16 and A-10 and to support the F-22. This version was also ordered by the Netherlands, Italy, Australia, Norway, South Korea, Japan, Turkey, since exited from the F-35 program, Belgium, Denmark, Poland, United Arab Emirates, Switzerland, Germany and Finland. It carries up to 8.38 tons of fuel internally. However, Michael Gilmore, Director of Operational Tests and Evaluations at the Pentagon, in an April 15, 2015 hearing before Congress, compared the F-35 to the A-10 insufficient source. Presence time above the battlefield for armed intervention, 30 minutes, it is 90 minutes for the A-10. Impossibility of night intervention because of the absence of the planned night sighting system, which is not developed and depends on the new electronic assembly, the A-10 does have a night sighting system. The maximum authorized armament consists of two short-range bombs of the same model and two medium-range air-to-air missiles, AIM-120 AMRO. We are far from the capabilities of the A-10, with its eight hardpoints under the wings for a variety of bombs, air-to-ground and air-to-air missiles, with all possible mixtures, and especially its gun very devastating 30mm anti-tank GAU-8-A Avenger.